Now that you've gotten a chance to check out my studio environment and the gear I use, I'd like to show you some of the software applications I use and give you an overview of the process in creating the song Pororoca. My main music production application of choice is Ableton Live. I worked as Ableton's West Coast product specialist in 2007, and in 2008 I became one of the first Ableton certified trainers in the world, which was quite an honor. I love the program for its ease of use, and the way I can just start throwing ideas together and come up with something cool very quickly. I use Live both in the studio and on stage, and have worked with lots of artists and companies to set up their studios and tours in Live. I really enjoy helping others to realize their dreams musically almost as much as I do myself. I start almost everything with Live and use a whole bunch of different instruments and plugins inside of it. I almost always reach for the Native Instruments complete set of instruments, as well as Rob Pappin's suite of synthesizers. I've been working with Rob for a few years now, helping him develop a massive tutorial on synthesis that you should definitely stay tuned for. It's a great way for people that are new to synthesis to learn about how to create custom sounds from scratch. I like to create custom instrument racks, layering synths and samplers, and then save the presets in my library. Just layering a few different sounds on top of one another really creates a more intriguing element. If I stumble upon a sound that doesn't quite work for the song I'm currently working on, I always save it and come back to it in my library. Here's a custom rack I created recently by grouping several instruments together and saving it in my library. For drums, I always program the rhythms myself, and I'll use Live's drum rack mostly to house the zillions of drum samples that I've been collecting over the years. Here's a drum rack I created with a bunch of sounds that I really like from various sources like sound libraries and homemade and recorded samples. Also, I created some sampler instruments out of samples that I recorded in a professional studio a while back. This particular instrument is all percussive and effects sounds from my cello. I like to record lots of unique sounding instruments and then easily access them inside live when I'm looking for an interesting sound. This particular sampler instrument I plan on releasing through Pure Magnetic in September, so stay tuned for that and also a separate tutorial on how exactly I made the instrument. As far as effects go, I use a lot of the built-in live effects and also make custom racks. Here's a custom rack that I use on my master track when I perform live. I have a whole bunch of effects in the rack, but when I use the effects live I only look at 8 elements of the effects. Each macro knob in Live's effects rack corresponds to a knob on my APC40 controller. I remapped each knob to always be controlling the specific element so that I don't get confused. If the knobs are all the way at zero, it means that nothing is being affected, so I always know if an effect is on or off. The different elements I use really vary in each song. It's difficult to cover everything I use because there are so many brilliant instruments and effects, including the ones that come with Ableton Live. So, in the next video I'm going to talk specifically about the elements that I used in making the song Pororoca for my album.